Yo, yo, how are you guys? This is Kevin of Rip City Cards, and we're breaking today on the release date some 2020 21 Panini Don Russ Optic Basketball three box uh, number two. I'm gonna be chasing some Lamellos and some good rookies. I'm here with my guy, Uncle Jess. Yo, I'm gonna random out the Hornets. Yes, sure, go for it, do it. So go to scene two. You got your table up already. Where's your uh, put your randomizer on the screen? Slide that to the right. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay. So. So everyone has a shot at the Hornets. So you're gonna copy all the names, not the teams. Copy. Paste it into the randomizer. Roll the die. We're going four times in the random. Going four. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Top name wins the Hornets. It's that money shot. Top Boom. name. Four times. And CBK. Cheeto. <laughs> we got Cheeto. No, that's CBK. That's CBK? That's yeah. Oh, I confused their names. You'll get it in a long show. Sorry, Cheat. Catzer? I thought Catzer was that. All right. That's CBK. So just copy and paste his name. Where the hornet should be, right next to the hornet's I, I name. I close this out, right? You know, yeah, just, yeah, the, the eye. You're going to use that later on. So, exactly. I thought Cheeto was Chris Cancer. <laughs> no. That's CDK. Sort that whole thing by teams. So, remember, when you sort it, you got to select the order numbers, too. Everything. I mean, everything. So, yep, scroll down to the last team. Sort it by teams. Which would be Short which range. would be D. Which would be D. Yes, sir. B and sort. Don Dada. Now you can even double check it too. Always double check it. Oh. Make sure that there's no double teams. So Bugs, Bulls, Cavs, Celtics, Clippers. You can just look at it and tell. Count by 30. There's thirty teams, so you don't you didn't sell any extra teams, you're not missing nothing. Looks like all teams are there. Good to go. That's good to go. All right, all turn, right guys. Turn it over to a master. Uncle Jess. Show you how it's done. <laughs> All right. So, do you know what you know what this stuff is retailing for now? What this? Yeah. Eight fifty. A thousand dollars. This? Yeah. I saw first off the line on Twitter today for eleven hundred, but oh, you, did you get any? No. You should have. You probably flipped that easy. All righty. Alrighty. Well, there's a chair right there if you want to pull yeah, up. Yeah. All right, everyone. Good luck. You're lucky this four for the pack, so they're fast. Right? Where at, Stephen? On eBay? What'd you say? Just four cards the pack, so they're fast. Yeah, but it's also like. I don't know. I find it tedious. Like four cards a pack, when they could just put like ten packs, ten cards in one pack, and get rid of less packs to open. Hmm. Starting off with a banger, Obi oh. Top and rated rookie silver. We always sleeve and top load the rookie silvers. Isaac is on vacation, freak. Oh, nice, Steven. Did you pick any up? Dude, that's a good deal. That's a real good deal. You flip those on the internet from way more. Got the Stargazing Chris Paul to 49. That's trash. Nice, a Raider rookie Halliburton. Go ahead and top load that. 
Saban Lee, Pistons rated rookie red. That looks nice. Number to 99. Did you get any Lamellos, uh, Stevie P? Hmm, that looks weird. <laughs> uh, Steven, that's, uh, yeah, I probably would have had the same reaction. <laughs> Someone said that Lamellos are going for 15K. Okay, so when whenever JMS says anything, you just want to take it with a hint of salt, you know? Sometimes he's on the money, sometimes he's not. Got this Dame Dalla, two of five for the Blazers. Very nice. 15K, what was it, like a Lamello? Oh, like what, from this set? Yeah. Was it numbered or something? Like a gold? Damn. If they're actually, well, someone's probably asking 15000 for it. And that's what he saw. Probably listed in best offer, except that you see it was five. <laughs> it, exactly. That's why I always ask. Well, what did it actually sell for? Because I can ask for for thirty thousand, but what I actually get is two completely different things. So you gotta watch out for that J Best guy. He, he can get you in trouble. Lamello. All right, JMS, what you got for me? Let's see what you got. Yeah, exactly. That's what someone's asking for. It's the rated rookie signature hollow, so it's not numbered, but it's the silver autograph. And someone's asking fifteen grand for it. Way too much, Way too much for sure. And, and it's a redemption on top of that. Yeah, the silvers, though, usually are, like, the chasing and stuff. So, now, the same rated rookie, hollow here. Someone's asking nine fifty for it. Bro, that's stupid. For the base of them. Yeah, let me... And now I'm really curious... What this stuff is selling for. I mean, there's probably not much up either because it just came out today. But, like, this guy right here, best offer accepted, and he was selling it for 950 I mean, I'm sure there's a way to look that up. Like, it's for 1000 Where? A little higher. Very close to that. Oh, that's a redemption. See? 15K. <laughs> but this is not the hollow. Yeah, but I doubt the hollow is 15 times. This is the rookie signature. It's just a base compared to the other one. You know the rookie signatures. I mean, those are those. Are those. <coughs> yeah, fifteen grand is pretty nuts. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, the Hornets random was done for this. I'm sorry. Let me put that on the screen. Uh, the Hornets go to CBK. That was uh, one of the first things we did in the break. I had the wrong uh, table on the screen. I'm sorry. So many people are asking way before. Hey, I mean, uh, mostly, mostly people from Asia. First Japanese-born player in the NBA. He was, he's, he's not bad at all. It's just the Wizards are a shit show. I mean, kind of hard to, not to fall off with what the fuck is going on over there. 
That team is falling apart. It's incredible. Yeah, John Wall already requested a trade. Yeah, he's been wanting another. Yeah, Bradley Beal's about to follow. We have a little old school autograph here for the Hawks. Kevin Willis with the autograph mojo. Alright, one box down. How long do you think it would have took you to do that? Right, it makes you five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> It just, it just comes with time, bro. Like eventually, you just you just know what to look for. I want to see you on the big case break too. You're flying through. Like which ones? Like just those cards. Only have a bunch of cards or a huge case break. Oh, dude! Next yeah. week is gonna be yeah. Bowman comes out next oh, week. So Bowman's fun. That I mean, yes. depends who you're asking. <laughs> I'm used to it, so, like, I know, like, what to skip and whatnot, but, like, bro, when I first did that shit, oh, my God. It was just, it was like you. I would go through every card, like, oh, my God, Montrezl Harrell. Oh, my God, Kevin Durant. Oh, my God, Seth Curry, and it's shiny and pretty and whatnot. Oh, my God, look at that. Okay, let's do it all over. You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, like, shut the fuck up. Eventually, it's like you just you know, you start every pack like usually is the same as the last, so you have two base cards. I'll see if the hits on the back. Siakam to fifty nine Raptors. Oh, did you show Kevin how to put people on time out? No, I haven't. CJ Ellaby, rated rookie silver Blazers. You like basketball? Ah, uh, basketball my favorite sport, bro. Yeah, like how these main guys and this stuff. It's crazy how I follow them off the I mean, basketball is a lot easier to follow than baseball or football. There's only 15 players on each team, and then from there, maybe eight or nine are in the rotation. And it's it's very it's like of all the top leagues, it's the only league that's like player driven. Yeah. And they, yeah, for sure. And yeah, it's just not that many not that many players to keep track of. A football roster has what like fifty something players. <laughs> Holy crap! And they get hurt by the league. Yeah, and then you got the practice squad guys. Nice little Luca there. So for the top guys, like if it's like a Luca Silver or like a LeBron Silver or Kevin Durant, yes, yeah, like at, at the if it was like if it was like if that was like James Harden base, fuck that. If it was like a LeBron base, maybe sleeve it. But if it's like a LeBron numbered card, oh for like sure you got to sleeve and top load it. I mean, yeah, isn't he like a yeah, MVP, why, maybe? Why, but I didn't know if that was the number. <laughs> but no, nah, base cards, probably not. Nah. I just did it for the three four players. You know, like a Cunha base? No, of course not, because he's already like a 10th year. But... P.J. Tucker to 199 Rockets. It's all about them rookies. What's up, Chris? How are you? So what's Cheeto's name? Is that confusing? <laughs> Cheeto is Brandon. Oh, he's Brandon. <laughs> uh, Shaq Gilgis Alexander, 149. Yeah, okay, Edgar. Okay, buddy. Yeah, true. Ba in ba I mean, in basketball, you gotta play both sides of the ball. You know what I mean? You can't. You can't just play offense. I mean, you can, but 
the top top players like LeBron play both sides of the ball. You'll never have Tom Brady in a situation where he has to play defense. Unless he throws a pick. We got a Cassius Stanley rated rookie autograph. Cassius Stanley can score on a dunk, he's good. but he's got to get back on defense, too. Uh, is he good? Uh, not really, if I'm being honest. Uh, Edgar, what do you think? Got a Christian Wood to 79. He's Rockets. a baller, right? Yeah, he came out of nowhere. He's a baller for, for the Rockets, right? Yes, sir. It's a good card. It is a pretty good card. His rookie card is probably. Oh, yeah, he's not a rookie? No. He... His second year player? His third year, I think. Oh, okay. That's what you just saw later on, bro. I thought he was a rookie. Yeah, that's the thing basketball, too, is these guys sometimes take longer to develop. They're like 17, bro. Coming out of high school. Yeah. Straight to the league. That's why when people are like, oh, this guy's a bust. It's like, bro, he's 18 years old. Like, like the guy's seven years away from being 24. Like, and he's in the league. Like, come on, give, give the guy a chance. They usually, usually basketball players, I would say by year four, you know what you have. It's crazy how they grow, bro. See, like the growth, like football players, they grow, but they're already 23, 24 as rookies. Yeah, like, but and dude, you see they're good immediately, but like, like you see in basketball how players grow. You can see them develop, right? Like, and their first contract is not even up yet. Now, nah, in football, you can come straight out of college and straight dominate. Because yeah. you, you can be 24 or 21. Exactly. Nick RJ Hampton would be good. Out of your ass. Who? RJ Hampton. I don't know. He needs time. He needs time. He needs, he needs a good situation. I don't think. Who, who's he with right now? I think the Nuggets. That's not a good situation. He's he, he's not gonna get no play. There's too many guards out there. He's not gonna get any playing time. These guys need playing time to develop. You can practice all you want, but it, it don't mean nothing if you're not out there. <laughs> Playing, playing. <laughs> Bro, that's all he does. I mean, he's not lying. Uh, we got a warrior, though. A retro signature Baron Davis. BD. To 99. Nice. He was great. But he was hella fun to watch. The basketball was so great when they were playing. Like that. Zion. Keldon Johnson to 79. Spurs. He's, solid too, huh? yeah, he's pretty good. Where do you come out of? I don't know. I don't really watch college basketball. I only watch March Madness. From Kentucky, apparently. So he went to a good school. They're going to Alabama. In football, right. Yeah, Kentucky doesn't have the same allure they used to. Like, they haven't won a national championship in a while. But they keep churning out players, though. Yeah. Players. Got Seth Curry rating threes for the Sixers. That is to 99. Very nice. Need a big time rookie, Demontis Sabonis to one forty nine. Pacers. Uh, Pokusevsky. 
He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Got a rated rookie silver. Azubuiki Jazz. Uh, Edgar, the Ultra Photon insert, I believe. Is a short print in this. We pulled two in three box number one. Haven't hit one here yet. Yo, Edgar, I saw a video the other day and I thought of you. Uh, I'm going to tell you when I'm not recording, though. I'm sure you did hit two super short prints in two and three boxes. Yes, sir. It could be a hot case. Jonathan Isaac to 99. Magic. He's got a big year coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, this is second Anthony Edwards for the Timberwolves. The centering could have been a hell of a lot better. He's a better player to you between him and the Lemo. <laughs> Edward? Uh, yeah. Lamelo's nice though. Lamelo's more of a of like a point guard. Yeah, hundred percent. And they play two different positions. He's older too, Lamelo. Oh, Lamelo's nasty, but he doesn't he doesn't have that athleticism Edwards has. Edwards could jump out the gym, and he's pretty quick too. All right, to finish off, Raider rookie Daniel Oturu to one ninety nine, Clippers. I yeah, might as well throw a top loader on Mr. Washington, on Mr. P.J. Tucker. All right, so that's going to do it. Yeah, Dolphins won, by the way. Huh? Dolphins won that game. Oh, pfft. Like sure. Not surprised. I mean, you said lucky, but lucky as hell. <laughs> nah, it was. I, I didn't like how we played. The Patriots played better. On our two drives where we scored, we made it look really easy. Yeah. So then it was like, why can't we just do that every, every play? Like, I, I don't understand. The Patriots gave it away with that fumble. Now nah, we uh, took that shit. But uh, you see, Phil Filler's out. Who? Filler? Filler? He's not playing this week. Yeah, I'm not. He didn't play last week. The, no, because he was suspended for a game. Like, they yeah, isn't he suspended for the first four games? No, no, four games. Well, what? He might be out for the year now. He got hurt again. No, undisclosed reason, personal something. Mm, not surprised. I wasn't game. counting on Will on Will Fuller to do shit for us. He's it's always something with that guy. He's always hurt. Or something. So, I, I honestly, I didn't expect shit from him. Devontae Parker played pretty good. Preston Williams is what I'm worried about. He's a stud. He needs to be out there. So, the fact that he's not worries me. All right. So, here's the uh, top rookies we got. We got two Edwards and a Halliburton. No Lamellos, unfortunately, or Wiseman. We got some silvers here. A top in silver. That's pretty decent. Pokusevsky, Thunder. Not bad. We got parallels here. Siakam, Hayward, a Lillard, two of five. That's pretty sick. Saving Lee, Chris Paul, Tucker, Oturo, Isaac, Sabonis, Curry, Johnson, Wood, SGA. Autographs. We've got Kevin Willis, Cassius Stanley, and a Baron Davis autograph to 99. What is this? Can we get that out of there? Please, what is that? Get out of there. You know what? I don't like. I don't like how. You, I don't like he did me just now. I'm gonna get you a whole new sleeve and a whole new top loader, baby, for my boy Baron Davis. That one has one of the nastiest dunks of all time. Look it up on YouTube, baller. That's it for the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out to you.